So I'm finally back out into the workshop and doing the things I want to do. I'm kicking off by getting back into the Martian fighting machine. I'm just using some epoxy putty to mount the last piece of the body section in place. And now that I'm waiting for that to cure, I'm going to trim down the extra pieces of tube that I need to finish off the other two legs. I can now start working out the placement of the more detailed parts of the sculpt. And I'm just using the lines that I'm putting on here as a guide to work out where the other elements all match up. The lower part of the body section, which is kind of like a keel in a boat, is what I'm going to be using to enclose those two halves. And I'm using the wooden pieces there as a support structure, so that I'm not using as much resin. I'm just sanding down those pieces of wood to bring them closer to the shape that I'm going for. And you can see that I've added a thinner piece there to thicken up the overall kill before I start sculpting the epoxy putty directly onto it. Now that I've got a piece that bridges a little bit more than halfway across, I can repeat that process for the back section and remove that temporary support section in the middle. Before I can start working out the other sculpted elements, I need to carve in the seam lines that run across the surface of the body, and because they run underneath the top fin section, I decided to do it this way so that when that top piece is attached, it doesn't act as an obstacle to the depth of lines that I'm trying to carve in.
I can now start working out the final placement of the other sculpted elements. This won't necessarily be the final time that they're attached though, it's more a matter of being able to work out how all those parts relate to each other. I'm just going to work out this eyebrow type piece, which is a purely sculpted piece. I've left this piece a little bit thicker than it would be in the final assembly, but having that additional material should make the clean up and polishing of it a lot easier. I've already got one of the outrigger pieces sort of roughly sculpted out, but it still does need a little bit of refinement to it in terms of, in, in relation to the other parts, which is why I'm sort of doing this pre-assembly. Uh, it's sitting a little bit high in relation to the bottom keel section, so it may need to be ground down a little bit, and the curve of it is not quite right. It needs to be a little bit flatter across the body section. Once I've got that one pretty much right, I will start sculpting on the secondary one so that I can use the first one as reference. And once I have that in place, I can start working out where the cutaway section is gonna be so that the internal components can be exposed. The cockpit section also needs to be probably carved and shaped to allow for it to be mounted on the inside. And once that cutaway section is done, it should be a lot easier to sort of mount it from the inside as well. So hopefully in the next video, I'll be able to get to the point where all these parts are being finished up and we'll be able to look at firing up the furnace for the melting down of some metal and the casting of the components we need. But anyway, guys, that's the update for this time. It's good to be finally back out in the workshop. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.